Welcome back everyone. In this video, we're going to dive into building a crew AI application in which we take a local PDF, give the path to it, and then our agent is going to go ahead and uh, extract the text and then have another agent that summarizes the contents of that PDF. So it's a little bit different than what we've done in our previous uh, applications. In the previous applications, uh, one of them, if you go back, is a uh, blog content generator. So it's a little bit different in that it's not going out and searching, but actually taking a PDF and then going to summarize the contents of that PDF. And in this PDF, I selected the uh, Win32 shell coding um, from many years back, the 2003 seminal paper on Win32 shell coding. Had to modify it just a tiny bit uh, to uh, cut out some of the back chapters just due to the token length or the word length of it, but was able to feed it in to what we have here. And then, uh, so the hope is that we're going to basically take that PDF, feed it in, and then get a summarized version of it out. And so then, hopefully you'll be able to see and extend out you know, the thought process of what you're able to do. So let's actually dig in and take a look at this. Of course, um, as I've done in my other videos, here are some uh, pre uh, steps that you're going to have to take and absolutely um, um, take into with the OpenAI API key. Uh, we're going to do our regular imports. We're actually going to be adding this um, PI PDF2 uh, module, the PDF reader. In this one, this is a little bit different than what we've had in the past. And this one is actually, um, we're developing our own little uh, base tool. And it's pretty simple here. You can take a look. Um, it's basically taking in the PDF, reading it in, and... Uh, it's going to be the tool that we're using for the PDF piece of it. In this particular instance, as you know, um, if you've seen my videos in the past, what we've done is uh, separate out our agents from our tasks. And this instance is no different. We're taking a reader agent and giving it the goal of extracting text from the PDF documents. We have then a summarizer agent that summarizes uh, the contents of that document. And then if you go back, we have to actually um, provide a, the task list and summarize that text task. I'm going to go ahead and kick off our crew just because it's going to be, uh, I want to show exactly what it's doing and show that it's actually doing what it's supposed to. So. We see it running while I'm explaining these different pieces. But we have our read PDF task, um, description, expected output, and the tool that it's going to be using. Next, the summarize text task, uh, summarizing the provided text using a specified GPT model. In this one, I'm using uh, the cheaper tokens but it's the GPT-40. Uh, Expected output is going to be a concise and accurate summary of the document's contents. All right, now here's the actual finishing uh, part. We develop our crew, give it the agents of the reader agent, summarizer agent, tasks, read PDF, and summarize PDF. Uh, processes uh, sequential because it needs to be in the that we are sequentially taking in the PDF and then going to be summarizing it. Finally, we're going to kick it off. Now, in this instance, here's the piece that we're going to have to provide that's a little bit different if you remember back. It's the prompts piece, but this one is actually the PDF uh, path. And right now, since we're using Colab, I dropped it into the My Drive, right-clicked, copy path, length and dropped it into this piece here. Now let's go slowly um, and take a look at what the output 
is that is being generated. And as you can see here, um, let me just get this little side piece here. All right. This is actually going to be that we're taking a look at um, is the actual PDF, the verbatim text of the PDF that has been read in. So you can take a look at, see what it is, and see everything that's been taken in. Again, remember, I cut this down a little bit. Now I'm going to go down. Uh, we see the assembly instructions, so it read those in correctly, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, I've extracted the text using PDF. Da, da, da. All right, and this is just a rehash of it. So let me go down and actually take a look. All right, so we hit the finish chain. Uh, this uh, document is a comprehensive guide on writing reliable shellcode for Windows. Requires a basic understanding of I, uh, Intel 82 or Intel 32 uh, assembly, experience source for beginners and that alike, and it provides finding uh, into using the kernel 32.dll because that was one of the pieces of that paper was that there was some uh, limitations to being able to develop uh, useful shell code before uh, the kernel 32.dll to load additional DLLs. And so we're given a great summary of what we had given it. You can play around with your documents as well. Um, making it rewrite it in a different form and so the world is yours in what you can allow your agents to do when it comes to uh, these specified the specified tasks excuse me so anyways much appreciated uh, look forward to seeing you in the next video